This video is going to show you how to solo farm the Master Knife Vault today as the daily modifier for Knife Vault Strikes is Lightning Crystals, which gives you enhanced abilities for Grenade, Melee and Class Ability. This is exclusive to today, so there's three Knife Vault modifiers. So, so after today's reset, it'll go to Superconductor, which is increased suit regen, and after that, it'll be enfilated. That's the rotation. Right, so this is the day to farm it if you're on. This is the best time, as I say. There's multiple reasons why you want to farm it, which I've already discussed why. Um, but this is showing you a farm on the Hunter, because there's a lot of people running this on a Titan. The farm, I mean, with Heart of Inmost Light and stuff, which there's nothing wrong with that. I've done that myself. But uh, for Hunter mains, what, what can you farm that way on this? Well, I went with the Exotic Helmet Assassin's Cowl, which gives us health regen upon melee. Uh, kills and finishes and it gives us uh, invisibility right so mainly what you're seeing here is the punch dodge punch dodge but also being aware of ad spawns like when exactly they spawn like right there the door behind me i knew that there was enough percentage of enemies killed after the invisible marauders after the shanks you'll get that spawn your main spawn from that door so i'm going to super that door because i'll just have my super in time for it now what I'm waiting on is this door to open. Now I know that you don't need to kill 100% of the enemies. It's more than likely 95, and that will then open the door. Once we get once we get uh, times three combination blow, right? We can actually start two shot and barriers with melees, which you'll see me do coming up. So if I do maintain my combination blow, I will. Bear in mind, I I'm nearly at power doing this. If you're under leveled, you ain't replicating the speed and the resistance that I've got right now. So I understand that, that there's people not going to be, um, as I say, be able to replicate exactly what I'm doing. You might want to go a more reserved setup as opposed to Lament. I'm using Exotic Sword Lament. I'm using um, a one two punch shotgun, which is very good because it's arc, right? Um, yeah, it's a very good shotgun. Major spec on the shotgun, I've got the scout rifle, T's of Contradiction or something it's called. Uh, very good scout, I recommend you craft it. Right now what I'm doing though is waiting for the two spawns of curse left and right because that's the trigger for the champs. So when you take out those two curse, you'll kind of just about run about that time, get the two barriers left and right. That's where we save a super gathering storm for one of them. Just depends on how I feel. Then we're going to lament the other one. Now obviously he's going to fall off box that happens it's not a problem to me because i've got lament so this this is all about high damage uh high risk it's it's high risk stuff this okay now we're going to lament the shrieker or try to um we couldn't so we pulse i know that one pulse nade will take out then i'll get a finisher here to go in viz i'm setting myself up for the second shrieker this just speeds the entire thing up because it means i don't need to backtrack and the shrieker ain't going to kill me right then once the two shriekers are down, I can focus the two barriers and a, and a couple of the arc knights. First, I'm going to build up some um, combination blow though. I'm not going to use super because it, it is worth to use it. Well, you'd think it's worth to use it, but I want to save it. Uh, I want to save it for the next bit. It's more important. This bit's not too, pro um, not too much of a problem to me. Now we're going to get some combination blow going. I want to stack that up for the next room because... Here's the thing, there is um, Enhanced Sword Scavenger, the seasonal mod that I've got on my boots, but it, it is up to RNG, the, the ammo that you're going to get, ultimately. Not only that, ammo finders don't work with ability, ki ability kills very well. As, um, so I'm going to be struggling on ammo. I have got ammo finders on the helm, which you'll have pointed out, but... I just put them on anyways just to see if I do get the ammo, which I do end up getting enough ammo for the run. More than enough, actually. But you'll see at times I'll cycle between Lament and the Scout. Lament and the Scout. Sometimes I'll take a barrier slower with a Pulse Grenade. You know, a Pulse Grenade dodge because I've got Bomber when I dodge. Plus Lightning Crystals is on, so I'm going to get like a sub 10 second Pulse Grenade even on a Hunter. Quick note on that, by the way, the best grenades on a Hunter arc in my opinion, is pulse grenades. Arc bolts are too weak. Skip grenades are too weak. There's builds for both of those. And the reason why you haven't saw me do videos on those is because those builds are rubbish. Outright poor, bad. They're all right on lightning strike, nightfalls. Anything's all right on lightning strikes. But yeah, I'm not going to make a build on them because they're bad.
Best grenade on Hunter, you hear me tell you, is Pulse. Not Storm. Storm's the best grenade on Titan because it's specific to the Titan with the aspect. Storm's decent. It's probably second best. Right, it's got more burst damage than Pulse, but Pulse lasts far longer than what a Storm would, like, you know, your normal um, Storm grenade, not your enhanced version. Obviously, we've got magnitude on the aspect. Um, what I'm trying to do here is, <coughs> is bait some of the champs. I did super, but I was too weak to take down the barrier shield earl uh, earlier on, if you saw. So... Um, you might get the opportunity to do it, you might not. The, the, this boss melts. Even when you're at power, it doesn't matter. Because of the arc burn, they, they just melt. Bear in mind, I'm 100 resilience. 100 resilience and double arc resist. And I'm still getting hit really hard. It's a shame passive guard isn't here. Passive guard gives you a resistance to swords, but it's not a seasonal mod this season. But it, whenever it's up, it's, it's OP. It makes Lament the best weapon in the game for solo stuff when that comes. But it's not up. Uh, but Master Knight Falls, you can survive them. It's when you get a GM. I wouldn't really use Lament on a GM. All right? I just wouldn't. Now, this is a cool little thing. Um, I'm go I want to stun this champ. I've got Unstoppable Shotgun on, of course. Right? Which gels well with the belt build. But I want to stop this unstop. Right? Safely. So there's a little, little cool thing here. So I'll stop him through this little gap. Right, I'm going to go in because I've lost a little bit of time. I want to speed my run up a little bit. I lost time on that that, that appearance of Navota because I didn't send the boss right away, like away to the next room. So that slowed it down a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is focus the two Boomer Knights. There's a yellow bar and a red bar. Take those out. Reason being is because the barrier up above me, right, I want to take him. I want to show you a safer way of getting him rather than jumping up there. I could have just jumped up there and used Lament and stuff. Which, for the nature of the run, I probably should have done. But um, this is the strat I'm going to do for GM for this particular boomer. This particular barrier. It's actually the hardest barrier like in this entire uh, strike. So just come back here. The boomer actually has a range drop-off. But the reason why you can't stand back up here with two boomers, the two boomers I took out before, is because they will actually shoot you, whereas the barrier won't. So this isn't a safe place if there's two, barrier uh, two boomers up. Plus it's showcasing the, the scout off a little bit. With the triple tap and stuff, an explosive payload. But yeah, that's the champ pretty much sorted out. There's two more barriers at the back. Uh, a good, a good uh, place to stand for these two barriers. Uh, there's a little ledge area you'll see in a minute. I'm gonna get invis first though. All right, so I'll do that first. So I can safely go past. Then it's pulse grenade. Right, then you want to sort of focus on one of the barriers. If you can get two shield breaks, then good if you can. It wasn't worth it to me because both shields come up at the same time, so it wasn't ideal. If they were staggered, I would have a, a better chance at multitasking between the two. But, uh, yeah, obviously it's not too bad just to do that. We've got heavy ammo as well, so we're good on ammo. We've got plenty of shotgun, plenty, plenty ish of uh, lament, so we're good. So this is, I, I say, I'll do my best to commentary it, but the, the video that is, but things do go quite quickly. So phase one, I want to skip the entire phase by with a super and lament. I am charged with likes. I've got loosened blade on. I've got a loosened blade build on with supercharged melee well maker. So I get a, an elemental well via enemies, elemental charge. So when you pick up the well, you charge with light and a ch uh, supercharge. So we get extra stacks. Can't mind if it was supercharged or charged at one of them. Obviously, I've got more than uh, stack two. Yeah, it was supercharged because I can get times four, I'm sure. Yeah, so we've got times four. So we're just punch and dodge, punch, dodge all those knights. Then for DPS, uh, I'm going to do a bit of Lament at, time, uh, at a time because Lament is very inconsistent on this boss. It, it's a love-hate thing. It's really good but really bad at the same time. So... What I found to be the best sort of thing is do a combo at a time type of thing, right? Uh, and so I'll do it like that. Now we're going to come to this little window because the insult will uh, champ comes out. So we'll stop with the shotgun, with a pulse, and that, that champ will then act as a target that's been jolted. So when you hit that champ, it will 
trigger arc electric to all the other enemies. Yeah? So that's something you've got to take note of when you when you use an arc 3.0. Then we'll get a stone here. My melee mi hit the other ogre. So it kind of screwed up a little bit. Generally, it'd be a, a two punch would be dead. It's just because my, my auto melee sort of uh, targeted the other ogre as opposed to the champ. But it's fine, we're doing it. So we're still in Viz. Now, notice... I'd done the super first because this boss likes to move, right? So I, it, it's worst case scenario, I, I miss my super. Gavron Storm does so much, and if I can stick the boss with it, great. The best way to do that is when I'm in Viz, right, the boss is idle, doesn't know where I am, so I can do a super. That's a moment of a opportunity for me to not miss, yeah? Then I go in with the Lament. Right? So that, that's big damage there for that phase. We got him on the final phase. Now it's a case of we want another super. And we want to farm invis off the enemies and sort of go in and out of the boss for damage. That's what that's the nature of what I'm doing. If you stand up on this bridge here, the safe strategy is just to save up, uh, stand up here and, and do damage to the boss from here. Right? But obviously I'm not going to do that with the setup that I'm doing. As I said, this applies more to people who are at power. I understand... Some people aren't. I mean, if you're 15 90s, you'll get aware of it. Just make sure you're tier 10 resilience and stuff. Um, but you can still get aware of it. 15 80s, I wouldn't recommend it because it's almost like doing a GM with, with a sword. Which I have done GMs with swords, but that's not the point. It's not uh, ideal for people. So we're in Viz there. We're going to do a bit of lament as much as we can. There's a final phase of ads that are going to pop up, cursed and stuff like that, which are going to come up. I, if there's a curse roaming around the boss, it's a no-go. I can't go in with Lament because I will die to that uh, Frawl explosion. So it's it's like sometimes I'll go in, bit of burst damage, and then retreat. Bit of burst damage, retreat, like that. Until we get super, which we're close to. Once we've got our super, though, we'll get in invisible. I'm going to do some uh, damage to these curse because there's tons of them there. Finish this cursed. Now we're in Viz, super, charge of light, so we're ready just to clear the boss, right? But that was the solar farm for it on a Hunter, Arc 3.0. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.